are in Unity right now. <clears throat> so what I'm trying to do uh, over here is I am trying to uh, give a tutorial based on the uh, Uni Unity tutorial. Uh, if you go to, let's say, um, Unity, uh, they have a tutorial. Uh, what I'm trying to do just to walk you through for uh, for each of those tutorial under, I think under the learn over here. Uh, so if you download the Unity, um, you can actually um, do this on your own, right? But uh, sometimes it's nice uh, if you just like, uh, you are like, just wanna just sit down on your couch and then just wanna listen. Um, somebody's uh, uh, walking you through, okay? So here we are, this is uh, tutorial number one. So, okay, so we have a play mode and edit mode, right? When we make a game in Unity, the basic steps are we make changes to our game. So, and then we test those changes by playing our game, right? So two steps, right? So first we make changes, and then after that we test those changes, right? We repeat this loop many times as we work on our game. In this tutorial, we will learn how to test our game. <clears throat> so we already make the changes. Uh, we just want to test it, right? The changes, is it working or not, right? If it's not working, then we uh, repeat that, this algorithm. These two steps is like a loop. We repeat over, repeat over and rinse. Repeat over, rinse, right? Okay, let's start. So this is what the Unity uh, dashboard looks like. I'm gonna, just gonna increase this one. So it's just full screen there, right? It's much nicer. So you have over here, you have uh, the, the scene that's called the scene. This one is over here. You can, uh, uh, the game is called the game scene. Over here, there's a hierarchical, the inspector, and then the project. So we have like, one, two, three, four, five. Five uh, kind of windows. And with this one is uh, six, right? Um, I do not know what is this going to be if there is no tutorial. Probably it's going to be like a more the, uh, like, uh, my guess is going to be like a folder thing, you know, that you can uh, kind of go through your, your uh, like, the, the projects and various, and then various files, probably. I might be wrong. Okay. The highlighted window is called tutorial window. So this is called tutorial window. Instruction and infor information appear here. This is where you read all of the instructions. At the top right of this window is the home button. So the top right. Top right is the home button. Oh, here. Okay, this one. To return to the tutorial at any time, click the home button. Okay, return tutorial. Okay, so uh, what I want to show you is, um, so under, if you install Unity for the first time and then you go to under learn, and then you can see all of this uh, under um, uh, tutorial, right? We are just on the basic tutorials and then there's tutorial projects, resources, links, and all that stuff, right? Um, so in the basic tutorial, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna walk you through this uh, uh, for for tutorial. So we are on the, the first one, the 101, right? So we are just going to the, uh, into uh, the Unity editor. This is the Unity editor, right? You learn the difference between two main modes. It's the edit mode for working on your project and the play mode for test, testing, okay? So, okay, so let's continue. To return to the tutorial selection at any time, click the home button. Next to the home, button is the restart button so okay where is the home button okay this is the restart button to restart the current tutorial and you click the restart so if i click this for example boom and then it's going to appear a window restart tutorial blah 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 you click do you wish to restart you click yes and then it's going to restart right and then we are going back to square one right so anyway we don't want to keep on doing that, right? And then we never uh, go forward. Click the next button to continue. So you click this, okay? And we are, so play mode and edit mode. The highlighted window is called the scene view. So this is called the scene view, right? Uh, we build a Unity game out of scenes. 
since in Unity are like containers. They contain the world, the characters, everything that is part of our game. This scene contains a single level of our game. We can use the scene view to view and arrange the objects in our scene. Okay. Next. And this is the, the highlighted window now is called the game view. It shows that uh, what the player sees when they play our game. We can test our game in the game view. So it shows what the player. So this is like uh, like a like you, when you're like deploying it in the in if you're building a, like say a, a, a VR or a AR for for let's say an, an app right for your customer. This is what actually what your customer will see on their mobile phone or in their um, if they're playing on desktop on their desktop right. So. So it shows what the player sees when they play our game. We can test our game in the game view. So you can test your game here, right? Remember, uh, what we want to do is after we change, make a change, and then we want to test it. So we test it over here. See if there's not something wrong, or if there's something wrong, then you go back to 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 edit mode, right? Uh, let's test our game. So you want to enter the play mode by clicking this button, this play button over here, on the uh, the middle uh, top uh, most um, uh, uh, corner. Of your unity editor so you click it right and then it will uh, sort of like uh, activate this uh, game uh, window and then you can move the character here so you can move this is the character here the person small person right so I can move it right so I'm I'm using the W a S, D, or arrow key yeah, to move my character, right? The goal is to uh, mark by a moving arrow. So you want to move your character over here. Use the escape key on your keyboard to restart this level. Okay, so if I uh, press the escape, boom, I go back there. Okay, I don't want to keep on. So I'm just going to move my character go inside here okay done okay what's next exit mode click the play button to exit play mode okay so i'm gonna click this okay next okay now next in this tutorial we learn how to test our game in the Unity editor. How to move between edit mode and play mode. So how to test our game in the Unity editor and how to move between edit and play. Okay. Okay, so that's like the uh, okay, that's the conclusion. Okay, so so we just we just tested our game right earlier, and then how to move between edit mode and play mode, but just by pressing this uh, play button over here. So when you press it uh, for the first time, it will go to the game mode, and then you can test it out by moving this character earlier, right? And then pressing it again, it will turn it off basically, and then you go to the edit mode where you make changes, right? Okay, so now we are into the next tutorial, right? Uh, we are going to start the uh, number two, which is game objects and components, rigid bodies to the rescue. So we build games in Unity using game objects and components. Learn about how adding a rigid body component to your game objects at physics behavior. Okay, so we're going to click start project do you want to keep this project keep um sure um no i, I don't think I, I want to keep that right yeah okay so uh wait. i'll just move move okay just forget about it and then we are going to launch the second tutorial 
Okay. 